Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations at your service, to talk about an auto transformer ballon of a design known as the Ruthroff design. Uh, this particular type of uh, ballon coil uses a single winding of wire, or actually a bifiler winding of wire in the design that I will link to, to uh, create an impedance transformation ratio of 1 to 4. The output impedance balanced load four times the input impedance unbalanced line to the radio. Uh, a good example of how this type of a ballon can work is suppose that you have a folded dipole antenna as your load. A folded dipole has a 300 ohm impedance at resonance. 300 ohm purely resistive impedance. The turns ratio of this coil here, input to output turns ratio, T, is equal to 1 to 2. That is to say this part of the coil has just as many turns as that part, so the whole coil, which sees the load, has twice as many turns as this half of the coil, which sees the radio. Remember that the impedance transfer ratio, though, let's just say T sub Z, equals the square of the turns ratio, so it's going to be 1 to 4, meaning that the output here is going to be four times the impedance of the input, assuming that there is no reactance. This type of transformer, if you wind the number of turns correctly on the right kind of a form, will work on all amateur bands from 160 through 10 meters. And I will provide a link to the web page uh, that shows you actually how you can build one of these things for yourself. Uh, the ham radio operator who built this website is DH1TW, Delta Hotel 1, Tango Whiskey. And he has a whole lot of cool stuff, so visit his whole site. But the link I provide will show you how to build one of these things on a toroidal core using a bifiler winding. And here he shows dots in his diagram that indicate that you wind two uh, pieces of wire right together over a single toroidal core. And uh, that is also an important consideration. These days, almost all balance use toroid cores. That means they're shaped like a donut, pounded, uh, powdered, pounded, powdered iron uh, form shaped like a donut. And you wind the wire around that donut, and that keeps, uh, uh, minimizes uh, external mutual inductances to other objects. But you have 300 ohms here. Now, you, this can be a folded dipole. And then you can run your coaxial cable from the ballon all the way to the radio and put the ballon at the dipole feed point. Or you can run a 300 ohm length of transmission line, like ladder line or window line, that is designed to have a 300 ohm characteristic impedance all the way down to your shack, and then hook up a short length of coaxial cable here. The trick is, though, this is going to turn out to be a 75 ohm impedance here. So you're going to want to uh, be aware of the fact that you're not going to have a perfect match here. You will, in fact, have a 1.5 to 1 standing wave ratio here. But most radios have no problem with a 1.5 to 1 standing wave ratio. You can also use 75 ohm coaxial cable, but you're going to the radio is going to see the same 1.5 to 1 standing wave ratio in either case. Uh, the nature of that impedance will be slightly different, but it will still be a 1.5 to 1 standing wave ratio. So that's an example of an auto transformer ballon. You need to be sure, though, that if you're going to run high power with one of these things, you use heavy enough wire and a heavy enough core 
so that the core won't overheat and break and the wire won't melt and you won't lose the insulation on your wire. But again, all of the construction details are given by DH1TW on the site that I will link to in the description of this video. So that is an example of now the, the word balance, as you may or may not know, you should know, refers to balanced, unbalanced. It is a transformer that transforms a balanced load into an unbalanced uh, feed line to the radio. It can also do the reverse, although you'll very rarely see balance used that way. You'll rarely see a balanced transmission line and then a ballon going to an unbalanced antenna. But there's no particular reason why you can't do that and why it wouldn't work. The important thing, once again, to remember is that the output impedance, Z sub out on this end, is going to equal 4 times the input impedance, that is to say the impedance that the radio sees. Stan Jibalisco, W1. G, V, Whiskey 1, good vibrations, saying 73 for now, and so long.